What's up, you guys? It is RJ. We are back with some WJSN. So we are on to our subunits, which are WJSN Chokom? Chokome? I don't know. I honestly don't know how that's pronounced. So forgive me if I just butchered the hell out of that. And then we have the black. You that that could not be more simple. But I don't know what that other word is. But then we're also gonna check out Kiss Me, which is the other MV that we have not checked out. Um, and then yeah, but I am very interested to see how this goes because just based on the thumbnails alone, they have different vibes, and I, and that just seems like it is from the th from the thumbnail. So I can't wait to see uh, what we get. So let's go. All right, we're gonna start with. Oh wait, I thought this was called something else. Wait, is the super one? The next one? I thought that was the first one. Maybe that's the next one. Okay. Hmm. Is the first one that we're gonna check out. Let's go. Oh, I love the way she walked in. The sass. So the only one I recognize is Xy. Xy, sorry. What's this beat? I think I called Dayong Xy. That's incorrect. So good. The outfits. This, what is that? What is that instrument? Trumpet? is happening. The choreo. It is. <laughs> um what the hell <laughs> this is so much fun i and you know what oh i can't freeze on that the funny thing is is this type of song would not have appealed to me three years ago like i would have been like uh, -uh i don't think this is my vibe it still really isn't my vibe, but it's so catchy and it's so fun and playful. And just even the way that they're singing, it's kind of what pulls me into the song. Um, 
Also, even though I called the, the what's her name, Dayoung, the wrong name, it's because of the bangs. That was kind of the, one of the ways I got to know which one was Exy because she started out with bangs in the very first song we checked out and I think she was also wearing bangs in Catch Me. Is that song called Catch Me? The second one, kind of bad with titles. But um, then when she came in in this one, I was like, oh, that's her but it was not her, <laughs> which I obviously found out. Also, the way they sing in the chorus, it it felt so like, I don't know, was that their actual vocals? Cause it, it felt very pitched up to where it almost sounded a bit squeaky. Um, and I wasn't sure if that was for the effect of what the song was supposed to give, like from a concept standpoint, you know what I mean? Um, but if it wasn't and it was their actual voices, then I mean, that's awesome. I just liked how much fun they were having in this. Oh, that's Bounce. Interesting. Interesting to see what products are also overseas that you didn't really think about. <laughs> this music video was crazy though. There was chicken on a stick at some point. Feet, what is going, What you know what? I'm seeing a lot of feet lately. Whether it's like K-dramas I'm watching or like music videos we've been checking out over here. Like, I don't know what the deal is, but I feel like I wanna watch this music video again at some point because the, the sets are all very, interesting i don't know if there's like a commentary on something here because these these outfits I even especially the girl in the blue her hairstyle is giving like a time of the past very housewifey do you know what i mean so i feel like i have to like maybe read the lyrics uh because honestly the song visuals had my attention um and i was kind of able to see who was singing what and learn the names in that way okay this one is the title that i remembered when i was clicking on it and i'm like this is an interesting title, Super Yuppers. But the last song was also very unique. I can only assume this one's gonna be unique. This song also has an exclamation point in the title. What kind of energy are we about to get? Let's go. She's pretty. Oh, oh, okay. Sailor Moon! Tell me that's not what that is. Moon Prison Power. Her vocals. This feels so K-pop. I love it. Hey. Oh, okay, Pepsi. I love how colorful this is. And not just the music video, the song. Oh no. <laughs> What the? <laughs> 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 
more. I mean, I mean, what's not to like about that? What's not to like? Even if this type of music isn't your vibe, you can't not have fun just looking at this. It's impossible not to. That's why I said this song feels, the whole thing just, it just has such a K-pop vibe. It's one of those music videos or songs that I feel like if I had like never, I feel like this is what was kind of my experience getting into k-pop or seeing a music video and having it be so fun colorful and just like you know a bit out there you would almost assume that this is what k-pop is like it all sounds exactly like this because it's in the best way there's just something so fun about this i loved all the imagery uh everything that they were wearing doing this that whole bridge section where she was like speaking I loved that because I made a Sailor Moon comment at the beginning and all I could think about was Usagi <laughs> or if you, you know, America, Serena. I don't know if they were going for Sailor Moon, but that's that's where my brain went with the whole transformation looking scene at the beginning. Um, super fun song. Super, super fun song. Now, this is the thing, though, because I feel like watching this with the music or listening to this with the music video, I'm more inclined to listen to it. This and the previous song. I don't know that these are songs that I would revisit because they're not necessarily songs that I seek out unless I just want to be hyper as hell, then absolutely. But I'm literally never like that. So <laughs> I feel like if I just wanted to be like, you know what, I kind of want to laugh or smile, I'll totally put this on and the previous song. But these, are, but these are definitely like for those types of moods. Do you know what I mean? But definitely just so much fun. This girl is absolutely beautiful, by the way. Yeah, anyway, absolutely fun subunit. It's unfortunate they've only done two songs. I, I can see the pattern here. I can see what their sound is and just their entire vibe. It'd be cool if they came out with extra stuff. I'm not sure um, why it's been so long, but yeah, anyway. Let's go on to the black. I appreciate this for telling me who is in this uh, subunit actually. And here we have XE. I can already see that this is gonna be a whole different vibe. I don't even think the color black showed up in those other two MVs. <laughs> anyway, let's go. vocals in that part. Mm. 
Wow, those outfits. This is definitely more my vibe, this song. Is this real money? I was trying to see if this was real money. No, it's Monopoly money. <laughs> Not literally, but yeah, I don't know what that is, but that's fun. I don't know, that's cool though. Um, yeah, I really, really like this song. Really like the vibe. Like I said, definitely something I would put on and listen to a lot more um, often. Absolutely love the dancing. Absolutely love their vocals. The layering of their vocals together in the chorus um were so it was so well done i actually wasn't expecting xe to sing as much as she did on this track as well it was really cool hearing her voice in this way i'm sure i probably heard it in other songs but for some reason here it just kind of surprised me a bit more maybe because i'm so used to hearing her come in on like the second verse as a written with a rap you know what i mean absolutely loved all the hair flipping um loved the attitude in their choreo moves uh everyone seemed to have such like a i don't know had a very powerful uh, presence in this music video. I thought that was great to see. Love the the difference between the two. I thought that was going to be the case as well. It's unfortunate this is the only music video that came out for them so far. Um, so I wish, I mean, I hope that they do more of these like with the subunits because I'm really enjoying what the both of them are giving because they both like kind of scratch a particular type of genre that I feel like is very entertaining for me so yeah anyway that was great let's go on to our last one all right lastly we have kiss me with our full group let's go summer present it's summer oh wait a minute nope is that Beckyun in the middle here am i crazy or is that just a look-alike we'll see him we'll see him again that is not, that is not Becky. <laughs> that is not. You can't tell me that didn't look like him from the side, right? I'm not crazy. Look, this is an easy mistake to make. It's definitely not him. Them? <laughs> Got the wave pool behind them. <laughs> I 
I love her hair. <laughs> My favorite. Oh, her hair! Oh, I love it. I love the hair. Wow. Water park looks like a place I used to work when I was like 18. <laughs> cute. <laughs> very, very cute. Ocean World, is that what that's called? It's really cool. Really cool set piece for a music video, you know? Um, that was fun. It's interesting too, because like the cuter concepts of J, uh, WJSN um, and then the subunit, the subunit is definitely a bit more over the top um, and a particular type of cute. This one has a bit, or well, they're, the group's songs that are a bit more on the cute side definitely have a different kind of vibe. So again, I just like how you can definitely um, kind of see the different sounds within the subunits and them as an entire group. I feel like one of my next jobs is to try and learn some more of the members' names because uh, I've only got, specifically I can recognize two of them. Well, three, no, three, three, three for sure. And that's Exi, uh, Yeonjung, and Yoram, I think her name is. Um, I can 100% recognize those three, even though I guessed Exi wrong at the beginning, I know. But with time, I'll get it, don't worry. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video, later.